Hello my good viewers, uh, Charles here uh, from Machamu Green Growers Limited. Today I've just come to uh, show you the exact thing that I've been talking about on my YouTube channel. You remember I've so much uh, talked about uh, intercropping a variety of Anna with Golden Dorset. Today we have a very very practical uh, example of what you should expect in your farm. Now this farm, I told you one thing, um, Anna does to your apples is that uh, it will improve in shape, size as well, size, also the texture and the shelf life of uh, that particular variety that you have pollinated with. Uh, maybe from what you can see here, you can see the shape of that apple. Yeah? And even most most of these apples you can see around here, they have better shape, unlike those uh, shapeless apples that have been, uh, you know, uh, previously been uh, produced. So we did talk about that, and there is also another mistake that people are uh, having when we talk of pollinators. They tend to assume that now because they have a beehive. Uh, one or two beehives in their farm that those are pollinators those are just agents and note better bees are just agents to uh, uh, take a pollen from point A to point B okay but they are not pollinators okay so even if you have bees in your farm you really need a pollinator to that particular variety that you have planted in this farm they do have bees but they are not enough in fact they don't have two or three or four they have quite a number of beehives yeah a lot of bees here but that one was not enough uh, to pollinate that was not good enough to pollinate uh, these apples so what we did we introduced um, golden dorset actually later later we introduced golden uh, dorset and the apples are doing very well right now we can't compare uh, uh, the, the, the previous production with this one this one is way much better okay now the other thing is um, there is a video I talked about actually uh, we did another video but I had to pull it down I talked about uh, whereby uh, uh, you are told that a dwarf variety can pollinate a giant variety I've never heard of such a case and go do research just please don't just consume whatever you you hear or you come across anywhere even if you okay just listen to it and do research about it okay because I had a very funny uh, statement I don't know how I would call it that a dwarf variety like this one eh? you can see there is a dwarf variety can actually pollinate a giant variety. In some cases, you might find that uh, the rootstock uh, were mixed during maybe uh, uh, nursery operations, and we happen to mix uh, the M9 with another maybe M111 that will not give you uh, the same size, the same size of the tree. But that one doesn't determine that once the plant is grafted. Uh, of the same variety will give you or will pollinate that same variety like Anna 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 giant with uh, Anna dwarf that they are going to at any given time pollinate each other uh, those are stories Nizira story to Naita story is a jabba that that can never happen in any, in any case if you haven't noticed that uh, the kind of shape these apples are giving especially if you are doing uh, Anna alone it's, it's a shape that you'll have to go and explain to that mama boga if those, those are your clients. Eh? You know you are the ones who, who is producing and of course you have to go and look for uh, someone to buy your apples. It could be that mama boga or maybe a certain company. You have to really explain that indeed there is an apple. yeah? Because the funny shape that that apple is giving, you can't, uh, you can't distinguish it from capsicum. Yeah? But if you by any chance have uh, intercropped your apples with uh, with the right variety right now here we are talking of golden dorset 
that apple you don't have to explain to anyone that it's an apple yeah because it has a perfect shape of course the texture there are those sour apples that that are being produced that by chance you bite well generally what um, i mean is that you're producing very sour apples and if you want to improve on that you need to introduce these varieties that we are talking about you need to introduce that golden dosset and even the ship these ones i don't have to explain to anyone that these these are an apple eh? because already they can see even the ship itself it has a perfect shape eh? of an apple well visit those farmers or those farms that uh, that have already introduced uh, their golden dosset and of course they are fruiting and they are flowering you, you you are going to tell the difference you are going to tell the difference even the shelf life because some of these apples uh, they can't stay for five days uh, without refrigeration uh, they will definitely start changing texture you know it, it will start being spongy and it's something that you didn't even like to taste so if you want to improve on that shelf life taste texture production all those ones uh the remedy is just having a golden dosset in your farm so by any chance you need any of our services uh, be it uh, making your order for seedlings just feel free to call us on plus two five four seven one six one eight nine nine six one and we are going to deliver thank you